Good afternoon, St. Mike's. I'm Kevin Collins, and I'm here with Hai Chahinian, who is running for 2012-2013 student government president. Welcome That's to it. the show. Thank you, Kevin. Good to be here. So uh, today we are going to be asking Haig uh, five questions which he knew ahead of time and one question that he does not know yet and we'll uh, see how he reacts under the pressure and sort of answers the uh, question to the best of his ability. Right. So uh, we'll dive into it without uh, waiting much longer. Let's go straight into it. All right, so last year in the student government, I know you were heavily involved, um, which had a tremendous, tremendously successful year. Yep. How do you plan to follow up this past year if you were to be elected as student government president? Well, uh, like you said, I was really involved this year. I was the director of communications of our student government this year. So I played a big role in advertising and marketing everything that we did this year, from events to charities, etc. So basically, firsthand, I had the experience of working side by side with our president this year. So I got to see not only how he works, but everything we went, to a, what we went through as a group in the student government. So I saw our successes and what we could have done better and what we could definitely incorporate next year. So as president, what, I'm, what I plan to do is take everything that I learned this year and just take it to the next level. That's what I want to do. I want to take it to the next level. Take everything that I've learned uh, through my own experiences, through the student government experiences, touch it up and make sure everybody has an unforgettable year next year. That's what I want to do. Just take it to the next level. Sounds good. No complaints there. Our second question is, uh, what are some of the most uh, important qualities that you possess that will in turn help you win this election? Well, I guess for myself, well, I would say that it's definitely, I, th I feel confident speaking to people, in front of people. I'm not afraid of meeting new people. And uh, the whole thing is with new students coming in, they don't really know what the student government has to do or what role they play in the community. And with my leadership, my integrity, I want to make sure that everybody feels welcome from the student government into one big community and just put myself in a position where people feel welcome to come to me, talk to me, ask questions about the school, and just make our community feel like a community here. Very nice. Uh, moving along, our third question is, as student government president of St. Michael's, you often have to interact with many other individuals, whether it be like teachers, staff, faculty, students, most importantly almost. Um, what makes you think or sure that you can handle this huge communication portfolio? Well, just so happens that I was the director of communications this year of our student government. And like I said, I, I really enjoy meeting new people, seeing new faces, meeting parents. I feel confident speaking to people and personally I've been blessed to say that I, I'm not really self-conscious of speaking in front of other people, thinking about what they think about me when I speak. I kind of just put myself out there for them to whether to, to just to make myself welcome to other people, meet other people and kind of you know give it give an impression that they'll they'll remember. Someone that's confident speaking to them, someone that is willing to uh, come back to speak to them if they have any questions, if the parents have any concerns. I don't mind speaking to their parents. I, I feel fine talking to whoever I'm presented to. All right. Our uh, fourth question is, uh, the whole point of these interviews was to uh, make sure that the students of St. Michael's knew the most about every single candidate. Mm -hmm. So uh, we know that you have participated in sport. Mm -hmm. I know you play hockey. Uh, you have participated in clubs. I know you started up the uh, Franco Spagnola Franco Club, Spagnol, so. uh, as well as you, uh, you're pretty much academically sound. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is one thing that people around St. Michael's do not know about you that you think they should know? Well, I think that one thing in particular that the St. Mike's community should know about myself is I'm one person to not really tend to worry about what other people think. I'm, my integrity and my honesty is what my personal motive is, to do anything I do to the best of my ability in the most honest way. And I'm going to give you an example of that, Kevin. All right. In the hallways, I'm sure as a lot of the guys have seen at school, I have, a, I have five or six different posters up. One of the posters, as a lot of people have seen and have pointed out, there is a spelling mistake. <laughs> All right? Yep. So there's, there's one spelling mistake on that. And everybody has been telling me, take it down, put a new one, take it down. And you know what? I really considered taking it down and putting a new one. But I figured, you know what? As an honest campaigner, I want to keep that as an honest mistake. To show the St. Mike's community, not everybody is going to be perfect. 
and I want to. I just wanted to. That's. I found that to be as as frustrating as it was. I guess to see that, I took that in a sense of not in a negative way, but in a way to show that my integrity and my honesty is what I'm going to stick with. I made an honest mistake, and that's that's one quality about myself that I feel that the student body should know. All right, and our last question that you knew ahead of time was uh, within student government, there are often many projects going on at mm -hmm. one given time. How do you plan to manage all these different tasks that might be going on and make sure that they are successful in their intentions? Mm -hmm. Well, so the way, I, the way I come forth to that is basically preparation has a before, a during, and an after. And that's how I incorporate scheduling for all of my, whether it's my projects, whether it's for scheduling for sports and school and just mixing everything around together. I always, you have to have what I believe personally, your before plan, so planning what you're gonna do uh, before all the preparations needed, what you need to accomplish before you actually execute. And then there's the presently, while you're executing your project, you make sure with communication and constant supervision of what you're doing and being on top of what you're doing is going smoothly during the event and then after. That's one of the most important parts. After a project, looking back at what you did, what went right, what didn't go so well, what could be improved. I think if you maintain those three aspects of any project consistently, not only will your events and your projects come out successfully, but you learn for, you learn for the future. So uh, that wraps up our five questions that you knew ahead of time. And uh, now we want to see how you react All right. with a, a question you don't know ahead of time. So uh, every year we hear about a uh, presidential candidate that you know promises this or promises that. Mm -hmm. um, but what I want to know on behalf of St. Michael's students is what can you promise us mm -hmm. that will allow us or make us want to vote for you? That's a good question, Kevin. And that's something I also addressed in my personal video. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm going to promise you a Schedule G at the end of each month or a dress down day every second week. Realistically, that is not possible, like you just said. But what I'm here to promise you is that with experience, communication, and my integrity spread all throughout the student government, I want the St. Mike's community not only to become closer to the student government with direct communication via social networking or emailing, but I would like all of the students of this community from grades 7 to 12 to feel as if they have a say in the government whenever they feel. By that, by that being said, for example, if someone has a proposition for an event that they would like to have in the school, formally written, they can create a proposal, send it out to the, send it out to the student government, and then well, having, take a, having take a look at it, we'll be able to incorporate that into future events. On top of that, what I would like is, on to adding to the communication, is if it would be possible, my personal goal and idea would be for the president to weekly have a spot on the announcements in the mornings, kind of keeping the, keeping the student body up to date on what's going on in the student government. Because we have a meeting every week. So what we discuss every week for future events and future ideas, anything that's concrete, I feel should be incorporated into the student body for them to look forward to what's going on and for them to know what the guys behind the curtains are doing. Because that's what's important, that's what I feel is not that present right now. The only time we hear about student government is when an event is occurring. Maybe they would like to hear on what's going on and what can potentially happen. So as a community, we can decide what will happen. All right. Thank you very much for stopping in today. Thank Hopefully. You, Kevin. Uh, Anybody that is considering you, or maybe not even considering you, but now are, learned uh, more about you and more about what you hope to accomplish next year. So good luck in the election Thanks process. Thanks so much, Kevin. Great to be here. All right.